In this video, I am answering a class question regarding how to simplify an expression that contains exponents. So for this type of question, first of all, uh, let's just identify the prerequisites to solving, um, to simplifying this expression, and those I have given here. So first of all, we need to know the rule for dividing exponents, and that is that you want to subtract the exponents. So let's say that we had x to the power of 6 divided by x to the power of 3 using the exponent rule that you subtract the exponents when dividing. You would get x, 6, minus 3, and therefore the resulting answer would be x to the power of 3. The next prerequisite skill is subtracting integers because you don't always get a positive number when you subtract your exponents. So for this example, I'm going to use uh, part of the uh, question above. I'm going to say y to the power of 3 divided by y to the power of negative 2. Using the exponent rules, this is going to be equal to, oh, not x, <laughs> y 3 subtract negative 2. So you can see that I am subtracting a negative integer. So it's 3 subtract negative 2. And whenever you are subtracting a negative integer, it's the same as saying y to the power of 3 plus 2. So Subtracting a negative can be simplified to adding. So my answer becomes, and I apologize, it's getting a little bit crowded here, but uh, 3 plus 2 is going to give me 5. So y to the power of 3 divided by y to the negative 2 will give me a final answer of y to the power of 5. So it's important to know how to uh, subtract positive and negative integers when you are simplifying exponential expressions. And the last prerequisite is how to write expressions with only positive exponents. When you simplify an exponential expression, you don't want to have any negative exponents in your answer. You want to um, put your answer in positive exponents. So when you have a negative exponent, the rule is that to make the exponent positive, so we have y to the power of 2, we are going to put it under 1. So it becomes a fraction. So y to the power of negative 2 is equal to 1 over y to the power of 2. Same goes for if we're not dealing with an unknown, so 3 to the power of negative 2 is 1 to the power of 3, sorry, 1 over 3 to the power of positive 2. And then if you can simplify that even more, 3 to the power of 2 is 9. That's your final answer. So all of these prerequisites we need to have to come together to solve a question like this. So let's go ahead and solve this. The first thing I'm going to do is do uh, just my integers here, the 44 divided by 16. So if you kind of take each piece separately, um, you want to do that. You want to take each piece separately and then combine it all in the end. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is divide 44 by 16. So 44 divided by 16, if you put that into your calculator, is going to be uh, 2.5. So not a whole number. So instead of giving the decimal, I'll just keep it as a fraction, but I'll reduce the fraction. I'm going to think of the greatest uh, common multiple that goes into um, each of these, and that's going to be 4. So I'm going to divide 44 by 4, and that gives me 11. And I'll divide 16 by 4, 
and that gives me 4. So 11 fourths is my reduced fraction uh, and is what 44 divided by 16, what it can be reduced to. So that's going to be my, uh, my first number. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to take my x variable and I have x over 2 divided by x over 7. And using my, inter, uh, my exponent rules, I know that I have to subtract my exponents. So I get 2 subtract 7. And 2 subtract 7 is the same as adding negative 7. So 2 plus negative 7 is going to give me negative 5. So x to the power of 2 divided by x to the power of 7 is going to be x to the power of negative 5. And I always want to write my answer as a positive fraction. So to make my, or sorry, as a positive exponent. So to make it a positive exponent, I have to rewrite it as a fraction of 1 over x to the power of 5. And lastly, just need to move my screen up a little bit. I'm going to take the last part of this equation, which is y over 3, or y to the power of 3, divide by y to the power of negative 2. And then using my exponent rules, that's the same as saying y to the power of 3 subtract negative 2. And using my integer rules, when I have two negative signs here, it's the same as adding. So I'll get y is equal to uh, y to the power of 5. Now my job is to put this all together into one expression. So what I'm going to do is start off with a fraction. And the start of my fraction is going to be this 11 over 4. Then I'm going to input this 1 over x to the power of 5. And to do that, I don't have to put 1 on top. I can just put x to the power of 5 like that. And lastly, I have y to the power of 5. So I'm going to put that up at the top. So my answer is going to be 11y to the power of 5 over 4x to the power of 5 is my simplified expression. Now you don't have to do it in these three steps. You could go right from 44x squared y to the power of 3 over 16x to the power of 7y to the negative 2 and you could do it all together. You could say okay 44 over 16 can be reduced to 11 over 4. x squared divided by x over 7 is going to be x to the negative 5, which means I'm putting it in the numerator spot. This is called the numerator of the fraction. And the last, y to the power of 3 divided by y to the negative 2 is the same as saying 3 subtract negative 2, and that gives me y to the power of 5. Whoop it up a little bit, y to the power of 5. So don't feel you have to do it uh, in all three steps. Uh, you can do it all together if you like. It just depends on what stage you are at uh, in solving these types of um, problems. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Bye for now.